So about this time yesterday, Google Slides, Google Docs opened up a new feature called the Audience Question and Answer. So you can see it here where it says Present a View. So what I'm going to do here is just use that with a slight variation in that I'm going to use it for a poll. And I'm going to do that by this example. So first of all, let me just show you up at Tools where we've got a question and answer history. And we can see that I've created something about nine minutes ago. And if I go in, I've sneakily added myself three options to use as a poll. So in other words, vote Denmark, vote Norway or vote Sweden. You need to do this a little bit before you're about to present so it is current in that slide area. If you do it for an example like today and then you come back tomorrow I think uh, you won't be able to use it and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we close that off and we get started. So I'm going to try and layer a few windows on here. So first of all I'm going to say right I want to do this live so I click and I say presenter view and it opens like this. Now it gives me an option here and because I've loaded those pre-questions um, I can either continue a recent or start a new. Now I know that I want to continue a recent and the only recent I want to continue with this one and you can see that already re ready and now if I minimize that what you'll see automatically on my presentation and I just love the little laser pointer fellow here or fellow S rather um, fellow. And so this is how we start. Now if you were in the class right now or in the audience or live on YouTube, wherever you like, all you need to do is open a browser on mobile or on desktop at this address which will always be google.gl forward slash slides forward slash whatever those four characters are. And that is it. So let's get started and this will not take long at all. So in other words we come along and we say if you've read the screen already, which ones are we going to uh, vote for? So all I'm going to do is show you three images, and they are Denmark, where you can see that it's um, on mainland Europe, and it's quite small over on the right-hand side. And if you were going to visit that country, would you choose it based on these landscape pictures? And very interesting. I'm only pausing so you can have a little look. Then we go to the next one and we say here is Norway. Norway is on the map over here. It's got a lovely red, white and blue flag and you can see it's got lots of sea next to it up the top. Awesome images. I've chosen those images by the way literally going by Norway landscape on a Google image search. Then the last one which is you know call it what you want is pretty attractive and we've got Sweden which sits over here and we've got a blue and yellow flag and those are the images so all we need to do next is go forward and say if you are at goo.gl slides ggew which country would you like to visit most now if you cast one vote and one vote only what we find and I'm just going to open this up in a new browser so you can actually see it is on your system on the URL what you'll see is this and then you can go in and it would be extremely wrong of me um, to choose any of those. And I would like to um, add in my own choice, of course, which is uh, just to be politically correct as I'm from England. And we can put England. Now you notice that it's questions submitted and then we can just dial into the bottom and we can start reading from the bottom. And so if I wanted to, to give mine a little vote. And then if you're brand new to this, which you probably are, um, we've got um, a few bits and bobs on the corner and that is pretty it my friend so enjoy that uh, using the idea of Google Slides questions as a poll thank you very much